This story is all about Marty Chambers, a proud Indigenous man who straddles living and working within many areas of the community, corporate and Indigenous life. A proud Dowie Boar man from the Torres Strait, Marty is a loving father to Ray, Benjamin and Evie, and husband of 27 years to Leah. Marty grew up in the lands between Cairns and Weeper. With loving and committed parents, Marty was not always perfect and at times needed guidance and strong leadership. Marty's story is all about his commitment in overcoming life's challenges, from starting work as an apprentice carpenter to becoming a true leader of people in the Indigenous communities. Marty is now the National Indigenous Engagement Manager for Rise Ventures and also a board director. More importantly, Marty has taken a lead role as a visionary in developing a mentor program within his community of Pomparel. Marty believes that he has benefited greatly from being mentored throughout his life and now he has the experience and wisdom to assist others in his community. Mentoring under the CDP program is all about helping, advising and creating pathways to a better life. Marty is truly an inspirational person who has lived the values and beliefs of his culture and has become a true legend. Here is his story. I first met Marty over a decade ago now. Uh, he's always been uh, a strong-willed character, but he's always had uh, a great, great enthusiasm for his people, helping them, his development, and also what we do in community has been enriched by that. Coming from a varied background has enabled him to see both sides of an argument, but also work out how different peoples can get on together. Uh, and that's been vital in community. Marty, I think, uh, is, uh, he's the first to face up to any challenge and take it on, head on. Any challenge that we've given him or any opportunity he would say we've given him, he's taken that and run with it and say, okay, how can I develop this? How can I go from here to here? And uh, we've really appreciated it. It's really a symbi symbiotic relationship between uh, him and ourselves and, and he's a loyal part of our team. Had a very hard time growing up at school. Uh, couldn't connect with the teachers, uh, getting probably bullied constantly, you know, for, you know, for my birthmark, that sort of stuff. And, and then um, when I sort of finally started hitting the friggin' bottom of the barrel, my old man actually said to me, mate, you need to actually have a good look in the mirror and have a look at what you got. He had heaps of friends, yeah, 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 yeah. heaps of friends, yeah. He got into a bit of trouble there when he started high school because mm. grade 12 were picking on him, mm. you know, because of the way he looked, mm. you know, and he was always conscious of that, the way he looked when he got older, but we couldn't see it. That's teenagers But he do. knew it, you know. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, he got into a little bit of trouble at school, but we sorted that pretty quick. He and defended he never had any more trouble after that. He defended yeah. himself and he knew who yeah. his friends were, yeah. Home life for me was 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 pretty good, you know, living with mum and dad, that sort of stuff. Um, had plenty of support there. It was just growing up, going to school, uh, and dealing with people that made fun of your differences. Um, but once I had come to terms with this is who I was, um, it was quite easy to. Um, you know, not sort of let the worry take over from, from what other people were saying and that sort of stuff. As a young fella growing up, um, I, a fairly angry young fella, um, uh, my old man put me and my little brother through a bit of martial arts training so we sort of classed ourselves as a, a bit of a lethal weapon and sort of I tended to see myself as a bit of a Bruce Lee. Um, and then as I got a bit older, growing up, working out how karma works and um, can affect everybody, I now tend to see myself as a bit of a Mr Miyagi 
offering more positive advice and um, solutions to help others better their lives. Having an Indigenous mum and, and a non-Indigenous father has granted me the ability to be able to walk in, in, in both life, lives or, 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 or households even. You know? um, I, I understand that both cultures have got similar um, ways in, in similar cultures and upbringings and stuff like that there and I, I just think that it helps me be able to walk the both sides of the street you know, for non-indigenous and indigenous people as well. Because he's a indigenous himself and he's been to a lot of communities in the territories and stuff like that, worked with a lot of people and yeah, he, he sort of inspired me in that sort of role, you know like working with a whole lot of people and, and having a strong heart in, and getting involved. With the leadership style of the mentors activity, we were able to engage um, uh, a young man who is rightfully, rightfully a traditional owner and will become the, the leader here for Pomperau. Um, he was a very confused and, and unguided young man. Um, and all I think he really needed was just somebody to listen to him and then actually offer the correct advice to and, and to what path he needed to follow. Like I said, he never let me down. And yeah, he, he, even when I used to been down like on myself, you know, he used to always tell me like there's other stuff here to do and all that. Get yourself like snap out of this um, bloody down sort of feeling that you're having. Yeah, and get back up there. Yeah, he's a really good bloke. Marty comes from an indigenous background, so he, he's well schooled in uh, indigenous uh, law and all that, you know. So yeah, he's very respectful towards the elders and uh, uh, members of the community, uh, at, uh, generally, really. So yeah, the, the community is uh, giving him back that respect, you know. But more so, as I sort of indicated previously, that respect uh, to Marty is, is the reason why the, uh, the council sort of recognised that and, and uh, signed uh, uh, another five-year uh, term for, for RISE to, to operate in Pompera. That's just a testament to what the person Marty is. Well, I think Marty is the right man for this place, uh, right man for Cape York and maybe the whole of Queensland, you know, uh, unassuming, young, intelligent like i said uh, his uh, laid-back character is uh, deceptive you know behind all of that is a very intelligent man you know tactical in his thinking deep thinking sort of young man so that's that's probably what we need you know moving forward in indigenous affairs in the future perhaps you know if his path takes him that way but marty has been everywhere he's been here he's been in kawi he runs like two places kawi uh, here Pomperau and then he goes over to the Territory, does some stuff over there and then comes back here, does stuff here. He is a good bloke, good to have a yarn with and uh, he does a lot for Pomperau, both Marty and Leah. And um, you know there's nothing that he's done wrong, he's been a good bloke since I've met him and he's done good for the, the community and that's why um, most of the people here like him so much because he's uh, uh, an outgoing person he likes to uh, talk to us locals yeah, and that's a lot of places that I go I try and tell countrymen that we've got to track his story out of our, a page out of our crocodile story, because to me he's a dinosaur. He lived, he been around since, yeah, you know, he been around. So, and that's how our people got to evolve. You know. First time I met him, like he had a, like to be honest, like 
Like something we talk much, and I know it. Yeah. But I understand like what he's saying, but I can't say like something I don't understand. Like, but but he think quick, you know. He reverse that word and say talking went away, and then I understand. That's what I met him, and even now, and I still like trust him, and he's not them sort of person. Like, if I talk to him, and he's he not talking, to, like, not talking to anybody, you know, they say if, if I say something like, well, I got a problem, or he don't spread it around, like, that's why I trust him, and I always do that. Marty's got magic that other people don't have. He's, Marty's quite engaging but can get down to anyone's level and find something that he's got in common with them. I marvel sometimes at how he can find things to talk about to the old fellas that have had a completely different type of life to what he's had. But he, can, he loves hearing their stories and, and I think that's the thing about Marty too is that he is really interested in other people's cultures and the culture of where we live and it, it means a lot to him that the old people take the time to talk to him and tell him their stories. Everybody knows Marty because Marty used to run the activities. So Marty would be out in the field but Marty can get progress as well. He can motivate people. He's not a pushover either. Marty can hold his own and I think that people respect that respect that with Marty. He's had to do hard yards to get to where he is and I think that people know that. Every community that he's worked in, they looked at as him as a leader, a role model to them. And he shows other people that just because you're Indigenous, you can do anything and you can achieve anything and come out on the top. Yeah, I see Marty pretty much the same as a role model. He's very passionate about what he does, you know, and people look up to him. Marty being well, who he is and everything, it, it, it helps drastically with being able to approach anybody, really, and being able to tackle any situation, no matter how big or how small it is. You know, he's, his heart's in it. And that's another thing that I feel like I've got big shoes to fill. Mm. But I'm slowly <laughs> learning in the way that he's doing things, and I honestly think that it's going really well. Marty really understands culture and how to incorporate that in community as well as if you ever wanted to progress and leave community one day and maybe move to a bigger city. I think that he's got a lot of experience and knowledge to help people with culture but also maybe how to uh, transfer or you know then move into a city environment that maybe culture isn't such a big thing you know and just help people with that transition I think yeah, you know yeah. as well if, if people wanted to move on and do something different um, having that background of um, indigenous and non-indigenous culture in himself you know I think that it's, it's a really good mix to have for everybody really. very passionate about helping all Australians out, red, black, yellow, white. We all bleed red, it doesn't matter to me. I think we should be all on the same page when it comes to do, doing anything that benefits Australia as a whole or more so bringing more purpose to all Australians. I want it to be all Australians drug. I want to try and get our people off substance abuse, off alcohol abuse, and I want it to be their drug. I want to be our partnership's drug. I want to bring all Australians together. <laughs>